David, what's up, man? Oh, uh, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm pretty good, man. Oh, it's good to hear. Well, yeah, nice to meet you, Matt. Where are you from? I am from Colorado in the United States. Oh, you're from United States. Well, I'm from South Korea. Nice, nice. Which yeah. uh, which part of South Korea are you from? So I'm from a so I live in a city called Daegu. Uh, do you no. know Daegu? No. Can you write it for me? Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll search for it. Wait a minute. If this is the spelling. It gotcha. Is. All right. I'm gonna check it out. So, do you like your city? Yeah, I think my city is really interesting because yeah, there are a lot of uh, how do I say? It? So I can easily get to a far place. Yeah, without my parents or yeah, <laughs> and yeah, and yeah, I like busy city. And yeah, I actually yeah, my city is really busy. I mean, there are a lot of cars, a lot of people. So yeah, I like. And also, my yeah, city is surrounded by mountain, and yeah, that is my favorite part about my city. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like you guys are in a really like cool area. You have a big, you have a big tower in the middle. Oh, that is a Ewer Tower. Uh, Ewer Tower? No, what does it do? What uh, is its so, function? Uh, actually, Ewer Towers. So I don't know about that, but actually, Ewer is amusement park, and yeah, that tower. I guess that tower is near, or that is in. Yeah, actually, that's all of what I know about it because I've never visited. That's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, what about you, uh, your city? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're going. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, we're going to see. Oh, no, yeah, nice. you can just go ahead. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm I'm not living in the United States. I'm in I'm I'm in Istanbul in Turkey. Oh, I see. You live in Istanbul, and what do you do in Istanbul? Well, right now, all I do is I work on Cambly. This is my this is my job. So, hopefully, in in September, this next September, my girlfriend, uh, she lives in Spain. She's Spanish. Okay. Okay. And I would like to be a teacher in like the Spanish schools. Wow, that is so cool. I hope yeah, you can maybe I hope you can go teach in Spain Spain. I thank you, my friend. I really want to um I want to learn Spanish because the accent, like the Spanish accent, you know, from Spain, it's uh it's a little different than other places in Latin America, right? So when you go when you go more south. The, the sound, the accent is much different. Oh, I see. Oh, well, actually, I didn't know the Spanish accent is uh, different, depend on, you know, south and north. Yeah, yeah. Well, so let's see. You have all of the South American countries except Brazil. They speak Spanish, right? But each, right. each country, they have their own vocabulary. They have sometimes their own, you know, their own accent. And then you have Central America also. All of those countries, they also speak Spanish and Mexico as well. Oh, yeah, I know that. And actually, yeah, you said it's different. So I can speak Spanish. I mean, so for example, I can, I'm, I live, for example, I'm from Spain. So I can speak Spanish well, but even though I can speak Spanish, but if I go to like Mexico, then it will be a little different, right? Exactly. Exactly. Like well, now I exactly got it. Yeah, like the grammar is basically the same, you know. There's there's one tense, it's or there's one um thing in Spain called vosotros, okay? Okay. Which is like when you're when you're trying to talk to an adult and you're being very polite, you use this kind of uh, you use this kind of structure. Or what is it? It's a uh, it's not a tense. It's like a kind of like a pronoun, right? Oh, I got it. 
Yeah, like formal. There we go. That's what it's formal. Okay. Formal usage. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. So in like Mexico, Colombia, um, Argentina, they don't use vosotros. They don't. Oh, use I see. I got it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, well yeah, uh, Korean, English. What other languages do you do you try any other languages? Uh, actually, these days I'm learning uh, only English. So yeah, I'm not learning any language these days. But maybe after I master my English, I'll probably you know, learn new language. Yeah, nice, but I want nice. to learn new language. Actually, yeah, I want to master my English as soon as possible. And yeah, maybe I want to try yeah Spanish or very nice uh, maybe the other language. Yeah. Yeah, man, you're doing great so far with English. Uh, how? Oh, oh, you think so? I think so. Yeah, you. Oh, well, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, you're confident. You sound like you know a little relaxed. People in the beginning when they're speaking with natives, they kind of sound a little like uh, uh, and they're kind of nervous, you know. Oh, I see. Yeah, actually, at you know at the first time uh, when I was you know when I was in Cambly. I was also really nervous, so maybe I couldn't speak a word because I was so nervous. But yeah, now I get used to it. So yeah, I can speak well without getting yeah, nervous. Yeah, I sometimes feel nervous if the teacher, you know, is really difficult. But yeah, most time, yeah, I can speak with confidence. And yeah, yeah I guess that's because I, I'm i here on Cambly for a long time. Yeah, maybe that's yeah. why I can speak well. Well, you said that sometimes when the teacher is difficult, um, do you mean their accent or do you mean maybe they're kind of boring? Like they, they ask you really boring questions. Uh, so <laughs> the difficult thing about me, yeah, boring question. I mean, yeah, like really difficult question for kids like me, for example, like pol politics or yeah, something <laughs> like that. And yeah, and also maybe teacher might say really a difficult word or really long word that I can understand. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually, at that time, I feel nervous. Or also sometimes teachers speak really fast and I can understand it. Yeah, actually, at that time, yeah, I speak uh, like, uh, 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 wait a minute, what do you say? Yeah, I speak really nervous. I wonder, like, do tutors actually, or teachers, whatever you want to call us, do... Uh... Do they actually talk about politics with you? Because that's kind of strange, right? Yeah, actually, yeah. They never talk about politics, but there, you know, there are, uh, yeah, I mean, there aren't a lot, but there are some few, you know, strange tutors. Yeah. But yeah, at the time, yeah, I would say like, uh, can we change the subject or yeah, the politics? Yeah, I'm not interested in politics. Yeah, yeah so yeah. usually I change subjects or yeah, when they speak fast, then I, Say, oh, can you speak a little slowly? I can understand. Yeah, I yeah. Like Do they uh, probably the ones who uh, talk about politics? They're a little older, right? They're like 40, 45, 50. That's right. Actually, yeah. So usually I speak with a young tutor because the yeah, old tutor uh, speaks a little yeah, difficult English. And also it's a really, yeah, some tutors or yeah difficult things for kids yeah so i usually speak with a uh, young adult cool cool well you picked you picked the right guy i'm you know i'm 35 so i'm a little older but my mind and the things i like to talk about are more like in the you know late 20s you know i'm not like I'm not like super young, but I know a bit of slang. I, of course, I speak informally most of the time, but on Cambly, I can try to do like a mix of both formal and informal. So, oh, I see. So for example, maybe yeah, when you meet adult, you can uh, maybe, and he wants to talk about uh, politics, then you can uh, talk about it. Yeah, I try to, but I don't like it either. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Well, yeah. well I see. So you can be easy or you can also be difficult sure i mean because now i mean nowadays in the united states politics always finds a way into the conversation you know like one moment you're talking about the the nba you're talking about basketball but then somehow you're talking about politics and you're like what what's happening i thought we were talking about basketball <laughs> oh really i mean Paul. yeah wow that is really interesting because 
actually maybe I'm a kid, so I don't know about it. But yeah, actually, I I don't think we talk about politics like that. Yeah, maybe if we just talking about basketball, then we'll keep going talking about basketball and we'll finish the you know conversation. But well, I guess yeah, they like to talk about politics. That's why maybe yeah, while they were talking about uh something uh, far away from politics, and then yeah, sometimes they're talking about politics. Well, yeah, that is really interesting. Yeah, by the way, yeah. is politics that popular in the uh, United States? It is, man. It's it's very boring. So, like, let's say, uh, let's take who's the first who's the first basketball player you think of when I say basketball player? Uh, maybe I uh, yeah I'll think about yeah Michael Jordan. Yeah, Michael. Jordan. Sure. Well, actually, uh, current currently playing which basketball player? Uh, LeBron James. I think. bam. LeBron James. Okay, good example. So LeBron James. Um, he tries, he tries to put a lot of money in neighborhoods and he tries to help young, young black kids, you know, whose, whose parents don't have a lot of money. Um, he tries to make sure that they get an education, they can eat, they can go to school, you know, things they need, things they need to develop. Um, but then LeBron, he also, he also tries to stand for uh, black justice, right? He wants he wants like he wants the police to not hit or kill, you know, black people, right? So this is actually more of a political topic. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow, I see. That's how the conversation goes. Wow, yeah, that is really cool. Uh, yeah. I I think I also talk about you know something uh, far away from politics, and yeah, the conversation goes. To, yeah, about politics. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, for example, yeah, actually, I like Bill Gates, and yeah, and, yeah, Bill Gates. Uh, he likes to help poor, and yeah, he likes to donate his money to charity, and yeah, you know, that is something about yeah, that is more like a politics. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. that is really interesting. Actually, yeah. I never realized. I mean, yeah, <laughs> when I was talking about things like this, I never, I, I never real realized that yeah, I was talking about politics. But yeah, I think yeah, if I think uh, carefully, then yeah, it is politics. Oh, economies. Yeah, economics. 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 Oh, economics. oh economics. I see. Yeah. So well, it's a mix, right? You almost you almost have to talk about economics and politics at the same time. You know what I mean? Because if we're talking about Bill Gates, he has to work with uh, a lot of other like global companies, right? Like, That's right. you know, like we're buying, uh, he's, he's doing stuff with Microsoft, but he also works with, um, you know, Asian countries, right? So that means economics and, and trade and all of these things. It has to be, it has to work together, but Bill Gates, or yeah, Bill Gates, he can't do what he does without the support of politicians, right? Yeah, that's right. So it yeah. goes together. Yeah, it, ha it kind of has to. Oh, yeah. But by the way, is it econ economics? Did I uh, pronounce it right? You did. You did. Because it looks like economics, but it's actually eco economics. economics. Oh, economics. I, yeah, I think it is uh, pretty yeah, hard to pronounce because, yeah, I've never, because I haven't seen a lot of words like this, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. And yeah, I'll yeah no mind. worries, man. You might hear some people say economics, but I say economics. Eh, eh. Oh, I see. Know. And can you understand like when they say a little different or you something confused? At first, at first, when I hear it, I go, huh? And I go, well, of course I know what that is. It's just a different pronunciation. Oh, I see. So you can also understand even though if I say uh, economics, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you know what the person's already, well, you know, we already started the, you know, the the conversation about the word. So sometimes if it just comes out of nowhere, you might be, you might be a little confused. You might go, what? What is it? And then you're like, oh. That's right. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I think you have talked about a lot of, yeah, this. So, so even though it, when it comes, when it comes from out of nowhere, uh, you can understand. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I see. Yeah. I got it. I got you. Not all the time. I even talked to a lady. She was from South Korea, like you. And 
she lives in the United States. And okay. when she 